When Kathy Berry moved into her home in 1980, seeing a deer in the yard was exciting. It was kind of unique to see a deer. I even fed a deer an apple. I was like, wow, how'd you get here? Now, she has to limit what she can grow in her garden. Everything in here is deer resistant except for these two sunflowers. Athens Arts, Parks and Rec Director Kathleen Ann Jordan says the solution lies within classic conservation on city-owned property. Hunting is a tried and true management practice for deer population management. 29 bow hunters selected through a lottery are set to hunt 12 wooded properties, including some near Stroud's Run and off of Old Route 33. Bob Scott Placier, a founding member of the Athens Conservancy, says too many deer can have an effect on other wildlife. But if you have heavy deer browsing, they'll disrupt those nests and, and actually destroy the vegetation. He says the increased population comes from the lack of natural predators like coyotes. Too many deer can also have an effect on humans, including vehicle crashes, diseases like spotted fever or Lyme's disease, and munching on gardens. Cone flowers, and they certainly munched on those. The effects of these sessions on deer population won't be known until after a couple years of hunting. The first year has five scheduled sessions, and the first three are doe-only hunting. Plassier says that's key. Harvesting as many does as possible if your goal is to reduce the deer population, take the pressure off of the habitats. Both doe and buck can be hunted in the last two sessions.